First tonight, the number of COVID-19 cases could surpass 25 million in the U.S. this weekend. That's more than 7% of the total population. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling shows us what this means locally and how one family is dealing with the loss of its matriarch. The COVID-19 virus has torn apart families here in the metro. Here's another case of that. A 78-year-old woman is here at the North Kansas City Hospital after she contracted the virus, but she will not survive as her family is taking her off life support on Monday. She was doing fine and then she started having problems breathing. It was a quick downhill spiral for Netta DiStefano. Her son Ross tells us she contracted COVID-19 two weeks ago. We talked on the phone and she was like, you know, I'm in trouble. DiStefano describes his mom as the backbone of the family. Very strong, intelligent. The family came to the harsh reality of taking her off life support this coming Monday as she's losing her battle with the virus. You know, one minute everybody's healthy and we were at Christmas celebrating and um, you know a week, a week later you know it just shows how fragile life really is. Netta will unfortunately join the over 7,000 COVID-19 deaths in Missouri with about 485,000 cases total. She did have some underlying conditions such as lupus. Dr. Randall Williams the director of the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services talked about this virus during a Facebook live event with the Black Health Care Coalition. People over 65 and people with certain conditions of any age. When they get the disease, they don't do as well. To prevent this scenario, Williams hopes for more vaccine, but says it's a slow rollout. We're only getting 80,000 doses a week. And we're trying to vaccinate 3 million people. DiStefano urges everyone to stay vigilant so other families don't have to suffer this same fate. Unfortunately, a lot of people, including myself, didn't take it seriously to begin with, you know. And then before you don't realize it until it impacts you. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.